Hola everyone! Tuesday new content, you know what it means. But before beginning anything else, I really wanted to thank you because we reach 10,000 people here with me every Tuesday. Thanks guys. And I see you people watching in a sneaky way our video. At some point, you will end up subscribing. I'm sure one video will hit you. All right, let's get back to the subject of today and talk about something that will enhance your control rig. Yes, you can import and use any custom shapes as controls in your control rig assets. It's pretty easy and straightforward, so let me show you. So we have lots of various shapes already available for us when we arrange our controls. But most of the time, it's not enough and we want to further adjust our setup with custom shapes. Pretty useful for controls like the facial board I created for our dear Oscar frames. So how do we do that? Well, it's really simple, as I said. You first need to create your shape, and for that, you have the choice. You can create something in your favorite DCC like Maya or Blender, or you can also leverage the modeling mode in Unreal directly. Create anything you want, adjust it to your needs, and the only mandatory point here is that the final output must be a static mesh. The lighter, the better, of course. That's the first step. You can have one or multiple, just like you want. Next, we need to gather the shapes we've created in a specific asset to reference everything in the control rig assets. For that, if you right-click in the content browser, you'll find an animation in control rig, the control rig shape library. Quite an obvious name, right? Let's pick it and name it properly. In it, you just have to create a new index array shapes, elements, and assign the shapes you want, naming them accordingly. You could even add all the materials if you want to go further in your customization. And that was the second part. And finally, we just need to reference and use this library in our control rig asset. Back to the graph, look for the class settings button at the top here and spot the shape libraries elements under the shapes section in the details panel. Here you can add another array and reference your newly created library. If you compile right after it, you might end up with weird behavior after assigning it. To quickly fix it, you just need to change the order of the index here and put your library in the first place. Now, on any controls you could have in your control rig, under shape, you'll see the new elements from your library appear and easily usable now. You can now dive in depth into customization with your rig, where for example you can import shapes that match a bit more your character, or shapes that you use to create in Maya or Blender. Whether it's for visual purpose or effective controls, you have lots of possibility there. And as you gather everything into one asset, it's easily manageable and you can migrate it in few clicks across various projects. So a quick recap here. From the original creation of the shape as a static mesh, whether in Unreal or another DCC, we added it to a custom control rig library asset, and then reference it directly in the class settings of the control rig asset. Easy, fast, and amazing to use to further customize your rig. And that's it for today, guys. I hope these videos will help you importing any custom shapes you want in your control rig. See you next Tuesday for a new one. Ciao!